What's up guys, welcome to the Colmar Project. Today, we're gonna to be transforming this old Ikea Calyx into a really cool rustic cabinet that's gonna be made out of pallets and reclaimed wood. So if you wanna see how I got this to that, stick around and I'll show you how. But first, let me tell you a little story about it. So we were doing some cleaning around the house and Samantha said, Yo, I hate this stupid Ikea furniture. It looks like we live in a frat house. Let's chuck it. Then I said, Ha, I can make anything look badass, especially that stupid thing. And she was like, nothing can make this thing look badass, even you. If you can make this thing look cool, I'll get you a beer and a massage. Well, I love beer and massages. So let's get some pallets and prove her wrong. And this is gonna be good. Time to weather some wood. And we're not putting it outside. No way. Accelerator. So cue the music and let's accelerate. She thinks I can't make cool things. I'm gonna chill her. I'm cool. Like this cool flannel shirt I got on. Like a cucumber. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> all right, so now that all of our wood is weathered, aged properly, and we're gonna sand it. Yeah. You know what? I hate sanding so much, but let's see if we can make it look sexy. Cue that dope B-roll music. How was that? Was that good for you? No? Yeah, me neither. Sanding sucks. Cube. You know what? And then when she asks me, how'd you do it, babe? I'd be like, 
Magic. Pow! Boom! myself a track so I got this track on Amazon for I think 50 bucks and if it works well I'll put a link in the description <laughs> if not I'm gonna write Amazon and tell them it sucks <laughs> It is finally time to distress this bad boy. And the best way of doing it, I got a little secret. It's called a couple diva eight-year-olds. Some hammers and meat beaters. Meat tenderizers. Our method is upstairs, so let's go get it. Boom, two hammers. Come on, diva. <laughs> Next process, chipping of the wood, we're gonna use black chalkboard paint as the base. You can use a stain if you want, but I found that this works really well. Now that it's all painted, 
Next step is wax. You heard me, wax. Haha, I'm gonna show you. That wasn't smart. So we're gonna be using Johnson's Paste Wax and some beeswax. What you wanna do is just go over your piece with some wax so that when you paint it over with the other color, it's just gonna flake off when we scrape it off. So be as random as you possibly can. That way it looks authentic. Any kind of paint or kitchen color. Yes, kitchen. You're trying to make this thing look like it's been painted 20 times. Try not to make it perfect. No perfect lines, just start painting it. And don't mess it up. You can't, you can't mess it up, guys. No. Now that we have our top dry, it's time for the fun part. Just start scraping this thing away. And theoretically, everywhere you put the wax on should pop off, so. Start scraping. So there you go guys, I'm calling this thing the Palette Calyx. Just like the original Calyx, it has eight cubes and a barn door slider that allows you to access some of the hidden compartments. With the addition of the casters and the countertop, it sits at 39 inches compared to the 31 from the original Calyx. I love how this thing turned out. It only cost me about 70 bucks for the rail and the casters. And best of all, I proved her wrong. I just made this thing look cool. My plan all along. So if you like this project and want to see more like it, go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. And as always, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for joining me on my experience. I will see you guys next time. Hey, where's my massage?